Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mallory, an American military wife living in Germany. On my channel, every week I bring you what it's like to live in Germany and also some personal stuff about what's going on in my life. And so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my 2018 year in review. It's about mid-January 2019 and I thought it would be fun to look back on 2018 and see everything that I've accomplished and done this year and to share that with my audience. So before we get into the content, make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below if you haven't already and leave me a comment in the comment section about what your best moments were from 2018. All right, so let's just get into it. I would say that the highlight of our year was getting to travel in Europe. This was our first full year living in Germany and we got to visit, between me and Mark, 15 countries in the year of 2018. Some of those were from Mark's TDY, so temporary duty. He went to a few countries that I didn't go to. So between the two of us, we went to 15 countries. We went on a lot of great trips. Uh, they all had their high points, but a few of the most memorable trips were going to Rome and Vatican City in June. And Mark's brother was with us as well. He came to visit from the States. That was super awesome, getting a um, to be in the audience with the Pope and going to Mass at St. Peter's Basilica and seeing the Sistine Chapel, you guys. Like, that was totally amazing. Another great trip was going to Lourdes, France for a pilgrimage. It was the International Military Pilgrimage that happens every year since World War II, and this was the 60th year for that. Um, I got to volunteer on the pilgrimage as both a nurse and as a violinist um, for the English masses, and so that was just so meaningful. We went to Krakow, Poland, which was just such a wonderful city. We got to see a lot of sites that were relevant to Pope John Paul II. Um, if you haven't caught on yet, um, we're Catholic, and so all these places that I've just mentioned that were most meaningful were the the religious um, oriented things. And so that those are the ones that made the most impact on us. Um, another cool thing that we did that was non-religious was going to the Zugspitz, which is the highest point in Germany. We've actually went there two times in 2018. The first time was on New Year's Day. And then the second time was at almost at the very end of the year with my family. We took them up, up to the summit. So those are just some of our international trips that we took. Some other memorable experiences were going to a ball in a real palace here in Wiesbaden. We traveled back to the States one time, back to Wisconsin to see my husband's family at Thanksgiving. Another cool experience is the German fireworks on New Year's Eve. That is just, it's, there's nothing like that back in the States. It's just insane. You have to see it. And then finally, one of the highlight experiences for us this year was having my family visit, which I referenced in my last video, um, which you can find in the cards up above. Uh, we had an epic Christmas vacation with them here in Germany and also took them to France, Liechtenstein, and drove through Switzerland and Austria. All right, so those are our experiences that we had in 2018. Now let's move on to some goals that were accomplished. I'd say the number one thing that I accomplished in 2018 was passing the NCLEX, which is the nursing board to become a registered nurse in the United States. And that, that was huge. Pretty much the hardest thing I ever did in my life was going to nursing school and then to move overseas and then prep for taking the NCLEX in London which is the only place, by the way, that you can take the NCLEX when you're in Europe. To be able to have done all of that, move over here, and then pass the NCLEX on the first try, that, that was just huge. And so I'm so thankful to have passed on the first time. I can call myself a registered nurse now. And so that was, that was huge. That was my biggest accomplishment. 
Another big accomplishment professionally was getting my business, Warrior Life Wellness, approved um, with the German government or registered with the German government and approved with the Wiesbaden Garrison. If you have a home-based business overseas, you have to get it approved, go through the approval process. And if you want more info on that and working overseas, um, you can click the video in the card up above. Another thing that we did was figuring out how to travel in Europe. So this was something that really overwhelmed me at first. Like it caused so much anxiety and I just didn't know, you know, the steps to take and it's, you're living in a foreign country and then you have to figure out how to travel in not only your own foreign country that you're in, but others. And so that was just really overwhelming for me at first. And I did most of the planning because Mark is really, really busy and stressed at his job. So I had to figure it out and I did. And now I have a rhythm. Like I feel super comfortable with booking hotels and flights and figuring everything out. I still have some apprehension sometimes because I'm type A. I have a very perfectionistic personality. Um, so I tend to take that very, very seriously, but um, I have a rhythm and it's so much better now. Another thing that I did professionally was get a job. So again, I'm referencing like a bunch of my videos, but I got a job with VIP Kid, which is an ESL company where you teach English to Chinese kids. And if you want to know more about it, um, if you're a military spouse and you're looking for employment, especially if you're overseas and it's really hard to find stuff here, you can go check my video out in the cars up above. Um, also on the, it's kind of like personal slash professional. It has to do with my YouTube channel. Um, I started doing YouTube more seriously about midway through the year and I grew my channel to over 500 subscribers. 500 was my goal for the end of the year and I topped that. So thank you all so much for those of you who put me over the top. I really appreciate it. Um, I started out, I had a few subscribers before, but I think it was like less than 200. So um, I was able to grow to over 500. And so that was huge for me. Also, we were able to pay off more than $15,000 on my student loans. I have student loans from my first college degree, which was um, for music school, and I still have loans for that. No loans for the nursing degree, so thankful for that. We cash flowed it and also used scholarships and grants to pay for it, but I still have my music degree to pay off and we were able to pay over 15k and that feels amazing i got rid of one loan completely and now i only have two loans to go so oh, not this year but i really am going for 2020 being our year to become debt free and finally just kind of like a passive thing i did work on it a little bit but not nearly as much as i wanted to i know enough german to get by and this really um, hit home when my family visited because most of them know little to no German and it was you know pretty gratifying to be able to say you know they would ask me well what does this mean Mallory and I would look at it like look at a menu or a sign or something and I would be able to translate it without getting my Google Translate out, uh, app out. Now if there were some really complicated words or whatever I'd have to do that but um, I was able to really piece things together quite well, you know, enough to get by. I can't have a full conversation in German. Um, and sometimes I get really intimidated asking questions in German and then trying to anticipate what they're gonna say back. But as far as reading goes, I, I became better than I realized I was. All right, so I think we hit on most of the big goals and experiences. It was a huge full year. I hope that was uh, interesting to you guys. Not really a how-to or whatever, but just wanted to share my overview of 2018. And in my next video, which will come out on Monday, I will share with you guys my 2019 goals and dreams. So stick around for that. Again, hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I'm really trying to ramp up my channel and get to that 1000 subscriber threshold. So any little help, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.